Hi, welcome to the series of A Spice Sessions. This is Tota Krishna Hema, your A Spice expert. Today we would like to discuss about uh, SUP1 quality assurance uh, process area in detail. Let us get into the topic. So what is the purpose of quality assurance? It is to provide independent and objective assurance that work products and processes comply with predefined provisions and plans and that non conformances are resolved and further prevented. Every time we, what we have to remember in quality assurance is it should be independent. It should not be uh, it should not be with uh, comply with it should not be uh, going hand in hand with the uh, with engineering activities so it should be a complete completely independent and it should uh, aim on see it's like whenever you get a project or you are you are engaged with some work then the same requirements will be provided to with the quality assurance engineer so we uh, so engineering team or the technical team will understand the aspects in one way but wherein the quality assurance people will look into the aspects like how to verify these things how to uh, get the adherence with respect to the standards or what is the acceptance criteria and how we have to plan as per the SOW or the contract which is shared by the customer. So these all we have to take into the consideration and during audit processes we need to we will get non conformances out of it. So um, quality assurance people will concentrate on resolution of non conformances also so the entire quality assurance is uh, is completely uh, is based on the prevention mechanism so quality control is something like it is it is uh, to uh, to identify or to detect a fault in the system system or the product but wherein the quality assurance is uh, it is to prevent the issue it is uh, it it is to prevent the issue it will save a lot of cost inside your organization so what are the process outcomes for this process area a strategic a strategy for, for performing quality assurance is developed implemented and maintained the quality assurance is performed independently and objectively without conflicts of interest non conformances of work products processes and process activities with relevant requirements are identified recorded communicated to the relevant parties tracked resolved and further prevented conformance of conformance of work products processes and activities with relevant requirements is verified documented and communicated to the relevant parties or authority to escalate non conformances to appropriate levels of mag management is established and management ensures that escalated non conformances are resolved so I just read all these process outcomes. So first thing is we have to plan the quality assurance activities inside your pro in inside your product or inside your organization. And then you have to conduct uh, the quality assurance activities uh, independently and it uh, at the respective intervals, whatever we have to we have defined in the quality assurance uh, strategy. And then uh, once we conduct the activities such as audits, so we have work product audits, uh, we have process audits, we have uh, process activities. Uh, so the processes, process audits will be conducted based on the standards like as per this standard, it is defined proper or uh, the work products audits will be conducted uh, based on uh, based on the uh, on the definition which is given by the customer and even the requirements which is given by the customer and even uh, the standards whatever uh, the whatever the quality standard says like ISO 9001 your A spice or uh, your ISO 26262 whatever it says like it is it is our product is adhered to the to those particular standards or not we will see so if it is not adhered to that then it is raised as a non-conformance so all these non-conformances and conformances 
both together uh, will be captured documented and communicated to the relevant parties so why it is it is said like to non confirmances and confirmances also is like we have to get to know like our project or our product is confined is is uh, is adhered to the a spice uh, a spice level 3 or a spice level 2 or a spice level 1 so we have to see each and every aspect of the process areas all the base practices are fulfilled in the project or not we need to ensure on so these all we have to document and uh, and we have to define uh, the escalation plan or the escalation mechanism so to whom it is it is it it will be escalated uh, so these all we we have to define in the sqap or or the software quality assurance plan or uh or or quality assurance plan okay and the management ensures the see this escalations of non confirmances is resolved or not so that or that a man, your management need to ensure on so generally your uh, uh, your non confirmance status will be def- will be published to the top management in the management reviews which we, which uh, in which the organization uh, top management will participate so uh, let us get into the details of the base practices first thing is development develop a project quality assurance strategy so this is nothing but quality assurance plan so develop a strategy in order to ensure that the work product and process and process quality assurance quality assurance is performed at project level independently and objectively without conflicts of interest so Uh, as i said in the beginning of the process area so we will get the process project documentation along with the engineering team but the way the quality assurance people will understand the uh, requirements is completely different from the technical team so technical team will will look into the aspects like why uh, so the aspects of the of the customer requirements how we have to implement in the project so but where in the quality assurance people will look into the into the aspects of finance aspects of the organizational structure feasibility the technology is it fits in or not or you know uh, how we are going to address the verification process inside it how they are they are doing validation how uh, we are going to do the joint review along with the customer or the audit uh how frequently we have to do audit and what how about the problem management how we have to manage the issues which are identified in the project management or the problem analysis or the regular check of methods tools the documentations and the adherence of adherence to define processes reports and lessons learned so this all we this all the quality assurance person need to ensure on so as a result like when uh, when we look into all these aspects so what is the outcome of these processes is like we will get reports out of it we will get uh the lessons learned or whatever the quality assurance reports out of it bp2 talks about assure quality of work products perform the activities according to the quality assurance strategy and project schedule to ensure that the pro- that the work product meets the defined work product requirement and document the results so once we have so in in bp1 we have de- we defined a quality assurance strategy in bp2 we are executing the plan that's it so when we execute it so what we will we will we will be able to see some compliances and non compliances as well so at that moment so we have to document it we have to document we have to analyze we have to resolve the identified issues inside uh, in the pro- in the project or the process and we have to track the identified nc identified non confirmance into closure or identified issue into closure and we have to prevent the problems in the future interval on the future time of the product so your bp3 talks about assure quality of the process activities so perform the activities according to the quality assurance strategy and the and the project schedule to ensure the processes meet their 
define goals and document the results this talks about the documentation of results so once we have so as we discussed in the bp2 like we have executed there and we we have we now we uh, after execution we are recording the results so as we discussed in uh, note 6 so we have to describe record analyze resolve track and track to closure and prevent the problems so this is this is the, the this these quality assurance activities will be performed in this way and bp4 talks about the quality assurance activities and results regularly report performance deviations and trends of quality assurance activities to relevant parties for information and action according to the quality assurance strategy so once we have recorded the results so we have to see the performance deviations and we have to analyze it so uh, similar to the metric analysis so we need to analyze the issues identified or the analyze the issues find analyze the findings which are identified during the audits or uh, or the non confirmances which is i which are identified during the audits we need to analyze them so we need to see like where exactly uh, the particular product is failing or uh, more number of issues are concentrated uh, concentrated or the density of the non confirmances we will look into and we will look we will try to uh, strengthen that particular process or that particular process inside your project so bp5 talks about ensure resolution of non confirmances so this talks about the complete closure of the findings which are identified during the audit uh, deviations or non confirmances found in processes and process and product quality assurance activities should be analyzed tracked corrected and further prevented so bp6 talks about implement an escalation mechanism establish and maintain an escalation mechanism according to the quality assurance strategy that ensures the quality assurance may escalate problems to appropriate levels of management and other relevant stakeholders to resolve them so the main purpose of the quality assurance activities is to identify the issue before ahead so uh, if we if we don't have a proper escalation mechanism in place so even though the quality assurance person identified a problem uh, much more ahead uh, uh, but it is not uh, it is not went into the uh, into the top into the management uh, management uh, uh, focus then uh, it it will miss uh, means to add, uh, address there means like in the early time so uh, that uh, prevented prevented or pre identified uh, issue will become an issue if the proper escalation mechanism is not defined in the project and even uh, the preventive prevention uh, will happens when uh, when we find out the root cause of the particular non confirmance and when we try to uh, avoid that root cause or uh, then we we will prevent the similar uh, or the same issue in the upcoming um, product development or the process so what are the output work products so uh, coming to the output work products, we have quality plan, uh, communication record, communication record, maybe see if we have a, uh, email, your emails or your uh, configuration management uh, tool, auto generated uh, messages or uh, the pop ups uh, or uh, the problem. Uh, next thing is problem record or your audit record or your non confirmance record so they have multiple names for these things so your problem record and your quality record uh, quality record is also called as audit record and the review record or the review comment register review register or uh, the corrective action registers all together see uh, we have an issue in 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 our current organization we have an issue register and even the audit uh, rec audit register or audit report we say and we have uh, a non-conformance analysis uh, 
an uh, analysis report we will have so all together whatever the non conformances which we have identified inside that particular business unit so we will analyze it and we will find we will find out where exactly we have to improvise our process uh, so this is a corrective action register comes into picture when if we look into and the quality criteria so the quality criteria will be defined along with the quality assurance plan or it will be separately documented with the uh, acceptance criteria or the release or, or uh, it, it will be documented uh, along with the work product acceptance criteria as well uh, so i came to the end of this session so if you have uh, any any um any doubts in this concept so uh, you can message me uh, in the um to my email or even you can comment in the down or if you have if you like this concept uh, click on the like button if you want further more topics on the a spice subscribe to my channel thanks for your time